and welcome to Hearth and Hammer. We are getting started a little bit late, and you might notice we're missing a couple people, but we've added one that's much better than the one that it's yes. replaced. No. Yes. It's a good good trade, a good trade off. It's a fantastic no. trade. -off. <laughs> we do have Mrs. Reborn Crusader with us this evening. <laughs> and we are super excited to play a oh, yes. Star Wars beginner adventure. Uh because we are also missing um Austin and Noah. So they are out this evening. They had stuff mm -hmm. going on. And so they have to um, have some real life stuff that calls them away. So we're going <coughs> to play and have a good time and do something we don't normally do. So, however, what we are going to do right now is introduce. Uh, well, first, we're going to say hi to our chat because our chat is awesome. Hi. Hi, um, chat. We have Indeed. Yoshi. Hi, chat. On this side. What's up, Yoshi? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mrs. Reborn's here. She can actually say hello, which is fantastic. Um, but yes, please, please, please. Um, let's see. Is is Mrs. Reborn chatting, or is that <laughs> Reborn chatting as Mrs. Reborn? That's Reborn. He's, he's at my desk. <laughs> goodness. That's why there's no caps. <laughs> type all sorts of things. Yes. So. <laughs> all right. So wh what we are going to do is we're going to introduce uh, your characters first uh, because there is no last time on Hearth and Hammer because we haven't done this before. So we are going Ooh. to play a Star Wars Age of Rebellion uh, adventure from the Beginner Box. So if you happen to have seen the Beginner Box or played the Beginner Box, don't ruin it for the players. That's just not nice. But, real quick, uh, Colin, go ahead and introduce your character for us, sir. Oh, oh boy. With the backstory <laughs> and everything, or just with the... You don't have to get the whole backstory. <laughs> All right. Just, just give us, like, name and um, if they are, a, you know, a specific species within the Star Wars galaxy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it should be in the character. Oh, okay, there. cool. My character's name is Kaveri, K-A-V-E-R-I. She is a Togruta, I believe, and her career is a seeker. I have to come up with a voice later. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Awesome. And um, heels? Yes. Uh, so it should be noted, most of the, the thoughts behind the character I chose was what kind of voice I could do with them or attempt to do. You guys know how my accents go. Uh, but I am playing Terast. I am a Keldor Sentinel. Um, I came up with uh, showing particular. Uh, yeah, I lost it. Anyway, uh, he was a talented. Uh, he showed showed talent for the Force, uh, but he was too he was too old to join Jedi training, um, and too young to fight uh, when everything took place. Awesome, fantastic. Okay, and uh, Mrs. Reborn. My name, my character's name is going to be Sasha, and I'm a human explorer that uh, was with a rebel alliance, and then it got broken. So then I started selling my skills to the perfect. highest bidder. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so for those of you that are joining us, uh, Yoshi and anyone else in the chat, uh, this is the Fantasy Flight Games Genesis System. So it is not actually a D20 system. We are using the Genesis dice, uh, which uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but they look like this and this. And they do not have numbers on them, as you can see. They have symbols on them. Uh, none of the players have <laughs> these actual dice, but there is a fantastic free dice app called the Genesis Dice app. Genesis mm -hmm. with a Y, not with an I. And um, it's a very simple concept. Uh, you have green, you have positive dice and negative dice. Okay, so this is for you, the players, I'm explaining. We have positive dice okay. and negative dice. The positive dice are the yellow, green, blue. Okay. Um, and so they should be the same colors in your Genesis dice app. 
So it's going to be yellow, green, blue. Those are positive. And then the negative are red, purple, and black. Okay? Okay. And so what will happen is whenever I have you make a roll, uh, you'll look in your character folio that you have there, and it will show you a skill. So if you have that PDF pulled up, um, look at one of your skills there. And so it'll probably show like two green or two green and a yellow if it's something that you're really good at. And mm -hmm. the green okay. are kind of like the standard skill dice. The yellow means that you're like proficient in it, like you're better at it. And gotcha. so what you'll do is if next to one of your skills, uh, if it says like two green and a yellow, then what you'll do in the app is you'll put in two green and a yellow. And then if I say it's an average difficulty, an average means two, uh, I'll tell you to add two purple dice uh, to your dice pool. So basically you're going to create an entire uh, pool of dice for that roll. You're going to roll them all together and the the positive dice and the negative dice will actually cancel each other out and you your result is the net of that roll. So for example, if you get a success on the dice, it looks probably something like this. Um then it will, it can be canceled out uh, by one of the symbols on the purple dice. Okay, so what's really cool is that these are called narrative dice, and you could have a success, but you could have a success with a threat, meaning that you might have done what you were set out to do, but you left yourself open or vulnerable. Or you might fail in what you're trying okay. to do, but you end up getting an advantage. Um, and so it's, uh, it's a really cool system. And so we'll learn it as we go. It's not that, not that complicated. Like I said, just remember the positive and the negative cancel each other out. The dice app will do it all for you. <laughs> as long as you get the dice pool right. I'm going to, good. Good. Uh, I just going to say, I'm going to send a link in, uh, Discord as well. I found one that does it online and it automatically calculates everything at the end. Mm -hmm. um, if anyone wants that. So, and you can use um, either one, actually. Uh, right. Let's see. Uh, let's see if this is the one. Yep, yep, that one's, I've used that one before. So. Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay, and then there is there's a white die in there as well. That is um, a die that we probably won't use too often because it's a, a separate mechanic. So, okay. So what we are going to do is start by reading the intro. To the story. We just got a raid. <laughs> we just got a raid. Is that what you said? We did. We did. Well, goodness gracious. What's up, Igsley? How's it going? Switch online. Thank you for the party, uh, for the raid with a party of three. How are you doing? We are playing a little Star Wars RPG this evening, actually, instead of D&D. <coughs> so thank you for joining. We're just getting started with our adventure, so. Um, all right. So, Star Wars. Age of Rebellion. Cue the crawl music. Okay, Star Wars music. Uh, heels, I need some Star Wars music. Sing it for me. What? Uh, <laughs> no, one, no one wants that. No one at all. All right, all right, all right. Fine, fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay so here we go war rages across the galaxy both the brutal galactic empire and the desperate rebel alliance reel in the face of terrible losses though rebel forces managed to destroy the super weapon called the death star their victory did not come in time to save the world of alderaan fear and uncertainty swell in the galactic community now one small battle 
begins on the verdant world of Onderon, deep in the jungle. Rebel intelligence has discovered a listening post built by Moff uh, Dardano to spy on his rival, Admiral Corlin. The Rebel Alliance has sent a crack team of infiltrators to take the secret listening post and turn it into a forward rebel base in the Japurial system. After hours of slogging through the dense jungle with its poisonous foliage and oppressive heat, the heroes have reached their destination, Whisper Base. Compared to staying in the jungle, the prospect of ambushing an Imperial patrol and breaking into a heavily guarded base seems almost pleasant. So, uh, each of you, actually, uh, if you're, go ahead and look at your character sheet there, your folio. Okay. Um, you should see uh, the first two pages. And those first two pages are um, kind of the simplified version. So. As you approach the base, you step out of the humid, insect-ridden jungle and into the relative cool of the garage. Um, you see a... What you see is a Imperial base that is uh, has kind of a hangar garage with the doors open. And um, you see several machines in there you see some droids you see um some you know vehicles of the of the empire there um as you step into it let's see here as i look at my map which by the way we do have an owl bear for let me send it to you now okay Going to put it in the Discord. And let's see if my map is going to work. Aha, it is going to work. All right, I am I am here. Perfect. Oh, you know we have we have a problem here. What's the uh, what's the economic situation of this uh, this planet in particular, with regard to the rest of the galaxy? <laughs> the economic situation, it's a tropical jungle world, with not much e economy other than the secret imperial base. All right, all right. So we trade in leaves. That's right. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> okay. Yes. So you've been traveling through the dense jungle. Lots of uh, flora and fauna. All right. So if you are looking at the map, uh, Mrs. Reborn, are you able to see it? Okay. Just says a new password. Got it. Gotcha. Let's try it one more time. <clears throat> yeah, 
I see it. Perfect. All right. So, currently, here we go. You step out of the jungle, insect ridden, humid, into the relatively cool of the garage. This garage serves as an s- entrance to Whisper Base. It's an imperial listening post deep in the wilds. For the first time since your ship delivered you to Onderon and departed, the hum of machinery drowns out the sounds of the jungle. Your task here is simple enough. Cut the comm line, disable Whisper Base's lone shuttle, and then overcome the Imperials in the base without letting the commander, Lieutenant Serev, escape to report that the base is lost. Simple, but by no means easy. The smell of machine oil hangs in the air around the garage. You see a number of speeder bikes, as well as a pair of ATSTs, uh, the Imperial Walkers, parked in their berths. Uh, there are several crates in the room, as well as a number of fuel tanks, a large metal door on the side of the bay, sealed by a complex lock, leads into the base itself. You find the comm line you've been told to cut and slice through it, severing Whisper Base from the outside world. With a hiss and a spray of sparks, soldiers from the base will soon investigate the disturbance. Fortunately, this is part of the plan. Taking out one of their code cylinders will let you get past the locked door without raising an alarm. What do you do to prepare for their arrival? All right, so let me get your characters here. What were y'all's what were y'all's characters' names again? Sasha. Um, I am Terrest. 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 Yes. Terrest. I don't terrest him. Don't you terrest me? I'm trying to make sure I have terrest in here. As as the seeker. Would I know about any exits outside of the garage that I should worry about? <coughs> this will, this will As, change the plan. Uh, I will let you roll for that in, mo- in a moment. All right. I see one, but uh, I don't know about any others. Maybe two. No, there's two. But I don't. I don't know that I know that. All right. I don't know that I know that. Okay, so there are your characters. Uh, you should be able to see them. Mm-hmm. So whenever, uh, go ahead and and put them where you think you want to put them, and and tell me what you're doing in order to prepare for the arrival of, uh, you know. Imperial troops. I think we should cover both entrances from each side. We got one person on the left, one person on the right, and put one person in the center to help mitigate any shots going anywhere else. What do you think? I'm okay. With that. Yes. And and as he says this, uh, I, I I nod and pretty much run over to this this one. And okay. I go to the middle. And I do the same thing. <laughs> That's the wrong character. Uh, oh, mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, yours has the helmet on. There, there it so, is. Yeah. There we go. She's she's got her rebel helmet on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me zoom in so I can make sure I got the right one. It's okay. Uh, so um, let's see. Colin, go ahead and give me a roll. And let me have a roll for. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I don't have your character sheet in front of me here. But give me a roll for perception. Great. Here we go to start. Uh, so that's going to be whatever the green dice are on your character sheet. 
It's going to be an average roll, so you're going to have two. You're going to add two purple dice to it in the app. Okay, okay, okay. So I got a yellow and two greens mm -hmm. and two purples. Two purples. All right, shuffle. All right, I got one star and two. Wait, one triangle and two stars. Okay, so uh, your stars uh, mean that you have succeeded. Excellent. Uh, but the triangle means that you received a threat. Well. So uh, what you have, you've been able to figure out where the entrances are. Entrances are. You've got the main entrance bay. It's a, a big open garage door, like I said, where all the speeder bikes are, speeder bikes are facing. Uh, and then you've got the two doors that are, are leading out of the base uh, that are in front of the stairs here. Um, you know, kind of right here and right here. Uh, so you, you've correctly identified them. Um, however, you haven't, in, in the process of making sure that you know where all the entrances and exits are, you have left yourself a little exposed. Uh, you didn't hide yourself very well. Oh, so, right. um, as you as you are trying to finally get uh, hidden away there, uh, you do hear uh, footsteps approaching. Now, do I know about the other two exits to this whole base? That was that was my question. Was like, do I know about all of the exits of the oh, base? Oh, all of the exits to the base. Yeah. So you have a general layout. Um, you do kind of know that the um, that the bay with the shuttle in it is on the north side. Okay. Um, you know, like I said, easy, easy enough. You've got a, a, a basic schematics of it. Uh, and so, uh, but right now you are, uh, again, kind of, you're kind of out in the open a little bit. So, all right. As you all try to hide yourselves, uh, Tarast, where are you hiding? Um, Tarast probably isn't, uh, he's, I'd say he's tucked away right in this corner waiting. Okay. He's more prepared to fight than hide. Okay. And Sasha, you're kind of uh, in the middle there waiting to yeah. shoot whatever comes out the doors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. So as you all uh, begin to wait, you realize you start to hear footsteps, booted footsteps down the halls. And... Sure enough, the doors whoosh open with that silent uh, sound there that they make. And uh, out through the doors march several stormtroopers. So, we got to get our battle music going here. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right, so in. Wind fire! <laughs> <laughs> so in uh, in this Genesis system, uh, there's we don't count out necessarily uh, squares uh, distance, so there's not a numbered range. However, there is kind of just a short, medium, and long range. Um, what what it would be is that uh, for you, the two of you by the doors, you will be attacking from a short range. Uh, Sasha, you will be attacking for probably from about medium range. So since you're in the middle, uh, if you, one of you were attacked the other door, it would be long range. Does that make sense? Okay. Right, yeah. So it increases the difficulty, but it's not, not that much harder. So uh, if you, Tarast, uh, do you have a lightsaber? Yes, I have a lightsaber. Okay. If you get into melee with them, you are engaged so it's kind of like an okay. inner circle of um, of combat. Uh, when you have a melee weapon and you're engaged, then it's normal normal actions. However, if you're trying to fire a gun and you're engaged, mm -hmm. it's like trying to fire a gun when you're in a fist fight and you're like holding onto each other's you know hands, right. trying to block each other. So it's it's a little more difficult. So all right. So as you stand there, all of a sudden. Out through the doors. Poor 
ignores several stormtroopers. But I have to resize. You're <laughs> <laughs> good. carrying a long range rifle with me i will push it up somewhere much further than this mm -hmm. i was like ah i've got a blaster in my hand <laughs> nope mm -hmm. okay so through the doors <laughs> come two uh sets of stormtroopers each um and they they come through very not really casual but they're not necessarily looking for trouble either um so go ahead and roll uh, one of your in your app. Roll one of your yellow dice. Everyone? Yes. Not like an explosion. <laughs> yeah. <Symbol>. Perfect. <laughs> so I got what, I, I'll one. read what my thing says. Go ahead. Okay. No, go ahead with what first. it says. <laughs> Okay, mine says one success and one advantage. It's the star with the like Jedi symbol. Perfect. The explosion. Perfect. And, yeah. Okay. So the explosion is a success, and the Jedi symbol is advantage. All right. Oh, uh, I don't know. What, mine's blank. I don't know what that means. Okay, that <laughs> means that you rolled poorly. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> great. Great. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> exactly. Keep it. Keep them with the trends. Okay. I can't do it. You, you, can you can't get the, the <laughs> uh, Sasha, you can't get your weapon your off your back. Explosion. Okay. So you got one success. He got a success and an advantage. Um, so what it'll be is it will be heals, uh, Mrs. Reborn, the stormtroopers, and then and then uh, Colin. So I explain can I like story explain why I'm going last? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. So they, the doors open, they casually come in, and I think I've got my rifle ready. It's off, it's off to my, I sling it around from my side, and I'm, I'm beside this railing, right? And I get my gun stuck on the bottom side of the railing, and that gives them enough time to hear the ping, and probably look over at me and be like, oh, look, there's someone there. I gotta, I gotta spend the time. Absolutely, to absolutely. Get it out and get it back over to fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, heals, terrasked. You get mm -hmm. to go first. Do you, right now you are in short range, so you're not engaged. Yep. Do you want to engage with said stormtroopers? Okay. So, so real quick, how does combat work? Is it one single attack, or so uh, is there be, bonus action type deal? Uh, it is basically one action. So. Okay. There's not quite the action economy that there is in. Yeah. Yeah, we already. There's okay. no economy here. Remember, remember. Right, no economy. Sorry, True. I forgot. No economy. Yeah. So, uh, I'm I'm standing there, and I have my blaster in one hand, and in in my my main hand is my saber, not yet extended. And so, as they run in, uh, I think he reaches up and 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 pulls off a shot with his blaster pistol as they first run in. Okay. So you're gonna try to shoot with your blaster pistol from short range. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So that will be a an easy check. They're pretty close to you. So go okay. ahead and roll, and uh, you should have something called ranged light, I believe. I could be wrong. Yes. I think it's called ranged light. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. Is it blaster pistol, correct? Mm-hmm. Is a blaster pistol. Okay. And it should it should show in your weapons and equipment there. So go okay. ahead yeah, and yeah, use, use those. Use those. Three green. If it's three green. Okay. So give me three green mm -hmm. with one purple. And tell me what you get. Okay. Uh, that will be uh, uh, on the Apple Music says two successes. Okay, so uh, I, I can tell you, you what the symbols are. But how do you first uh, how do you first get the shot on it coming through coming the, coming through the door? What does it look like? 
Yeah, so uh, as they first kind of come charging down, um, I'm standing over the railing with the, uh, right there, as soon as they come across, he lifts up his left hand and squeezes off a blaster pistol at the head of the first stormtrooper that comes down. Okay. So you kind of hit him, kind of uh, hits him in the in the shoulder there. Um, let's see. Uh, real quick, do either of y'all's characters have com links? Yes. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, excellent. Okay, so, um, let's see. Oh, um, you see the, go ahead. I was going to say, for the, did you calculate the damage or do I need to do that? I just now um, read that it has the damage stuff. Right, so go ahead and looking at your, looking at yours there, since you have two yeah. successes, that's the net result, right? Right. Okay, so that does, uh, it should tell you how much damage it does for, so, for that. Yeah, event. six and plus one per success. Okay, so it does eight so points of eight, damage. Right. Okay. So, you hit the stormtrooper. Uh, it's a solid shot to the shoulder, absolutely. Um, but he does have, you know, armor that's supposed to block somewhat. <laughs> blaster shots <laughs> um, you know uh, so he doesn't go down precisely uh, but you do get a good shot on him um, and uh, that is the end of your turn okay so Sasha it is now your turn which mm -hmm. set of stormtroopers are you aiming at are you going to aim at the one that uh, that has already been shot at are you going to aim at the ones coming down the way? Well, doesn't seem like I should go for the ones we've not shot at, so I guess I'll go for the same one that da Thasher? Thrasher? <laughs> thrust. Ter terrest. <laughs> we don't terrest. Him. Terrest. Terrest. Really okay. How terrest. dare you terrest me like that? Gosh. <laughs> okay, so it will be go for at him. medium range. So roll, uh, now do you have a, um, look at your weapons on your character sheet. I have a slug thrower rifle. Okay. Ranged heavy. Sorry. Skill. Ranged heavy. Perfect. So then you are going to roll the ranged heavy. So whatever that is, if it's uh, yellow and two greens, um, and then you're going to add two purples to it. Okay, yeah, it says one yellow, two green. Perfect. Also, uh, Albert's not up on stream. I don't know if you're wanted up. Okay. You said add two purple. Oh, just kidding. Now it is. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Okay. Had that darn preview load up. <laughs> okay, it said yeah. I rolled one success, four advantages, one failure, two threats. Okay. That's Say all that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It says one success, okay. two advantage, four advantages. Perfect. One failure, two threats. Okay. So the advantages and the threats um, cancel each other out. So since you got four advantages and two okay. threats, that means you have a net of two. Um, two advantage and then you had two success or one success one okay and you have one success and one failure correct yeah okay so what that means is that because they cancel each other out you didn't actually hit the stormtrooper mm -hmm. but you do have two advantage now if you look at your character sheet there are things you can do with advantage you can say um, cause the uh, stormtroopers, you could cause them to maybe stumble and have a dip more difficult shot, or you can try to give advantage to the next person in your group. So basically, you can give them a black uh, penalty dice, or you can give them a uh, give Colin, who's the next person, you can give him a blue 
bonus dice. Well, I feel like I should go ahead and give it to my partner over there since he's already had trouble getting his rifle out. Okay. So you firing from the middle of the garage here, make enough commotion that the the stormtroopers coming in close to um, Kavari have been distracted. And and, uh, Colin, when you make a roll, you'll get a blue bonus dice. Okay. All right, so it is now the stormtroopers' turn. They are going to fire at you. Pull up their statistics. Um, and how much uh, how much damage did you do previously on that stormtrooper? Heels. Heels. Oh, sorry. Uh, eight. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, so that stormtrooper came through, and he, he, like I said, it was a solid hit, but he didn't go down yet. Um, okay, so since mm-hmm. you missed, they are now going to fire. Um, and they are firing as a group at at uh, at you guys. So it's not just one of them firing. It's it's. The, the kind of the two together fire. So. Mm-hmm. All right, so heals uh, the first group is firing at you. Mhm. So they manage to get um, all right. So they manage to uh, shoot back at you. Uh, you know, you're you're pretty close as you're rushing them. They shoot back at you. They're kind of glancing blows, but they do hit you. And uh, you should look at your character. You have a soak threshold, and a mm-hmm. wound threshold. Soak is like your armor. Okay. Okay. And so, anytime you take damage, you basically subtract that five, uh, or whatever it is first. Two. Um, so it, it automatically negates two of the damage that they do. Okay. Every every time. Okay. It's it's a recurring. Every time. Okay. It's a recurring thing. All right. Um, and then the rest goes to your wound threshold. What's your wound threshold right now? Uh, 11. 11? Okay. So mm-hmm. they uh, fire, and they hit you, and they do um, they do five points of damage. Okay. Is that now I take off the soak value, or did you already do that? So th- that's, uh, that takes you take off the soak value of that. So two for that. So they did three points. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, now the group over by you, Colin, are going to fire. Which they fail, uh, so they fire at you, and and uh, being distracted, they they take a couple shots at you, but you manage to uh, kind of duck out of the way behind the railing. There, uh, it is now your turn. Excellent, excellent. So I now have for my blaster rifle, long range weapon. I got one yellow, three greens, and a blue. Yes. What disadvantage did I do? I roll. Um, so you will be. Um, Firing at short range, uh-huh. so it would be a pretty easy shot if they're that close to you. Okay, so I'm, so I don't have any purple die. Oh, you'll have one. You'll have one. Okay, just the one. I roll. 
All right, we got three triangles and four stars. Okay, so the triangles are the um, they are the uh, failures. So, um, what's the net value of that? Like, uh, one subtract success. It. Okay, so I you guess. do hit one of them in front of you, and how much damage do you do? Uh, that one takes nine plus an additional one damage for success, so ten damage. So ten damage. All right. So they come out of the room, of the door, and at point blank range, it's pretty hard to miss, right? You got a pretty powerful long range rifle. And they are able, and you shoot him right center of the breastplate, and he just <laughs> clatters unconscious to the uh, to the floor there. So I go, I go, tank from underneath, bring it back over, set it on the rails, <laughs> aim, yeah. blam. All uh, right. And, what is, and we also get to maneuver. Yeah. So you can move. Can uh, okay, I can only move. Is there is there better cover around me that I could take? Uh, you could attempt to take some better cover if you would I like. I would like to maneuver. Okay. To take cover. Perfect. Um, so you can perform a maneuver, and uh, you can perform actually a second maneuver, but you have to, but you suffer strain. So mm -hmm. it'd be like if you ran and then you dove, right? So the diving would be the second maneuver, um, but you have to take strain or do that, like you know, yeah. kind of thing. So if you want to do that, you can. Um, strain is kind of like the mental fortitude of a character. We get an action and a maneuver, right? Yes. So your action yeah. was to fire your rifle. Yeah. And so for my maneuver, so you I just can want still to just maneuver. You can still just move. Oh yeah. So if you want to move a second time, take an extra maneuver. Oh. You right. can take strain. So. Okay. So you're gonna try to hide a little yes. bit. Take some cover. Um, roll. Roll a stealth for me. Stealth. We'll say it's average, uh, but with a with a black dice, a di okay. with a, kind of a disadvantage. Hold that. All right. We got one triangle, three stars, and one star with a circle around it. Okay, so uh, is that on the yellow dice? Yes. Okay, so that is called a triumph, um, which means it is a critical success. Yes. Okay. Um, however, this is just for you to hide. So uh, basically what that means is that you will be... So now it still cancels out uh, if there are equal number of failures as successes. However, the triumph part of it meaning that something really cool happened still happens even if they even if maybe like say you were firing and you had a triumph and a success and a failure and a failure the the shot wouldn't hit but you would still have like a critical success mm -hmm. kind of thing okay. um, but i think we got two successes and one so tell me how do you how do you uh duck into cover uh, i think since i'm kind of in this corner i probably look to my right and i see that there's a there's a loose panel somewhere so i'm just okay. kind of like step over to it and kick the heck out of the panel and it swings open and gives me extra cover that I can hide okay. behind. So now I'm, I'm picking around that to, to nice. take shots at them. Nice. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. And uh, obviously at this point, uh, this guy is down. So. Yes. All right. Uh, very good. Very good. Okay. So now it is back to uh, Tarast's turn. What would you like to do? Yeah. So, um, uh, I get, you know, I get shot with that one, and then I'm like, ah, forget it, and, and uh, ignite my lightsaber and and push forward the one I'd already hit once and, and come across with a so that's the and, one and you've I already slash hit against it. Yeah, yeah, I want I want to just run in like kind of engage both of them, uh, okay. but I'm gonna take a, a good shot at him. Okay. So you're gonna take a, would... an action to take a swipe with your lightsaber. Mm -hmm. All right. What's my disadvantage so, or so uh you when you get into melee range mm -hmm. then it is uh considered engaged uh, as far as the okay. range is concerned 
Um, you will. Uh, you should have a skill for your lightsaber there. Mm -hmm. What is that? Um, mm, breach one. Is that the skill you're talking about? Uh, no, I'm saying like, what are what are the dice roll? Oh yeah, a two green and a yellow. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now, as far as <laughs> as um, doing that, I believe it is an average difficulty, so two purple. Okay. Oof. Um, that will be, um, wow, that's a bad one. One success, one advantage, one failure, and two threats. Okay, so you basically net with what, one threat? One threat. One okay. threat, yeah. So what happens is you, you ignite your lightsaber and you begin to rush forward, and you, you're not really experienced with the lightsaber. Um, you've... Whether you found it or you created it, you, you haven't had much practice. And so you, you come in and you just kind of swing wildly a little bit. And the one who, uh, who sees you, he sees you coming and he sees a lightsaber and he knows what this is and he immediately um, kind of dodges out of the way of your initial strike. So mm -hmm. you have missed okay. uh, and now you have kind of taken this broad swing and you... Uh, you, you, you become a little bit vulnerable to him. So. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Sasha, J what just, are you going to do? Just to confirm, like with me being in this, they're going to have like disadvantage or something with their With their weapons, shots, right? Yes. Okay, Unless that's what I was counting on. But they, they don't, so. Okay. Yeah, I, I, was, I was assuming they had blasters. All right, so Sasha. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm going to go save my friend. All right. Uh, so you're going to fire uh, at the ones attacking Terast, or which ones? Um, would I know how, f could I, like, jump over the railing? Would I think I'm going to break something if I jump that far? No, um, I would say make an athletics check. Okay. You should have an athletics check on there. Which is... I would say it would be a, uh, an close. average difficulty. Athletics. I would oh, say it'd be I easy. Too just far. <laughs> it's not. It's I not very too far. Fast. So. Uh, I have a rank one. So it says one yellow, one green. Okay. Perfect. So roll one yellow, one green, and one purple. Yellow, one green, one purple. Okay. The end result says one advantage and one failure. Okay. So one advantage, one failure, and that's it total? Uh, Das rolled one success, one advantage, two failures. But the oh, end okay. result okay. says end one result. advantage, one failure. Okay. So you fire... Uh, at them again. However, you are creating a, quite a distraction, uh, and so do you, you know. Again, you can you can basically give the uh, stormtroopers a disadvantage when they attack. Okay. Or you can give um, somebody. Uh, the, 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 usually, it's the next person a blue uh, dice. Now let me go ahead and give them disadvantage. Okay. The stormtroopers. All right. Sounds good. All right, so uh, since since you have finished and they begin firing, they begin to fire at Terrest. Being now engaged. Uh, and they do, s and things like, uh, things like these, these black disadvantage dice, they do stack. Mm -hmm. So they can have more than one. So they have two because they are enga engaged, ranged with you, and also before mm -hmm. one from her. So. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, so they came up with a disadvantage for their rolls. So they uh, see someone madly rushing them with a lightsaber, and they're like, ah! And they, they're they firing wildly. You know, you, you hear that, you hear that, Shh, look out, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> and they, uh, <laughs> and they, and they kind of swing wildly and are trying to shoot you, but you're moving so quickly and swinging your lightsaber, and you kind of um, unexpectedly d- like deflect a little bit of it, uh, so they do not hit you. Nice. Um, I like not being hit. Yes, uh, Colin. The, the uh, same disadvantage will go towards them for the distraction. So, um, they actually, uh, as they are firing at you and you are behind cover, uh, they actually have, um, two disadvantages or two threats happen to them. Um, and so they, while trying to fire at you through this panel that is blocking it, they have left themselves open to Sasha behind them. The, the one remaining who's there, actually. All right, so um, we are to your turn, Colin. Yeah, I'm going to fire the other one that's uh, the one that's closest to me. Perfect. As Go for it. I figure out, I think. So it should be short range. Uh, so it's, it's still the, it's the same as uh, earlier, right? The one oh, without the blue, though. Oh yeah. yeah. One, one, two, three. But one purple die. Yes. I don't have the same dice. Uh, I got nothing. It's a success and a failure. Okay. So just, uh, you know, they're firing a whole slew of blaster bolts at you, bouncing off around you. You're just kind of hunkered down uh, behind. You. Gonna take a pot shot. Don't hit anything. So, um, so no, no real, you know. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the Wilhelm scream. Um, all right. So, Taras, it is back to you. What would you like? Yeah, to not. I'm standing there. I, I miss the one. They zip around. I'm gonna come back through with another lightsaber swing and, and and try to take a head off. All right. All right. Go for it. Same difficulty. I take uh, it. So, uh, yes. So. Okay. Average difficulty, um, but then your lightsaber skill. So okay. two. Um, it, it's a failure. One failure. Okay. So once again, they are just, I mean, as as you would, right? Try to not get hit by a lightsaber. Um, and again, you, you're just, you're kind of struggling uh, to, to connect with them. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, bouncing off uh, the armor. It's, it's hitting things. So, it's this mm-hmm. weak ancient lightsaber that he found. So. Uh, all right, so, Sasha, it is your turn. Stop clearly. moving, will you? <laughs> clearly. Well, now I'm stuck. Which which one do I help? We've well, we got two one on, on one side and one on the other. So yeah, yeah. We continue to go over to the other one where. Uh, well, if he's getting shot at and he's hunkering down, I guess I need to help him. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. It would probably seem he's in more danger. Uh, that one does have disadvantage. Okay. Uh, or rather, I'm going to give you a blue die when you attack it this one. So. So I need to add one. Add the blue to my. Add the blue to your roll. So it'll be okay. two purple. Whatever your weapon roll is, plus a blue. Minus two green, a yellow, two purple, and one blue. Okay. So, says I have two advantages, one trap, and two threats. Okay. 
Um, you said two threats? Uh, yes. Okay. So the advantages and the disadvantages cancel each other out. Got it. Um, but your triumph, uh, you get um, an extra hit there. Now, does it give you any specific advantages on your weapon for if you get a triumph? Um, let's see. Because if you, when you have criticals with a weapon, mm -hmm. um, it will show up as if you say you get three advantages in a roll, mm -hmm. then you would maybe get like a critical hit or something. So it doesn't say anything for triumph. It does not. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we are going to count it as basically a critical hit. Um, and what is the damage on your rifle? This is seven plus one. Okay, so you you fire and you, you hit this guy in the back as he's <coughs> solely focused on spraying and praying the area that he has seen this uh, Togruta hiding behind this uh, panel. And uh, he does he kind of drops to a knee as he gets shot, but he hasn't gone down completely. Um, but uh, again, but he knows I'm there. He knows you're there. Do you stay there? Do you move? Do you hide? What do you want to do? Uh, you did, I'm sorry, you did actually move off of the catwalk there last turn. Yes, yeah, so I've turned around to kind of like shoot up at him at that point, right? Yeah. You're kind of okay. hiding between the speeder bikes there. Okay. Well, I guess I need to to keep going toward him. Okay. You're going to head so towards him, him over more. Here. Right. Yeah. How far do you want to move? Uh, Maybe let's two, go over two bikes. bikes. Right, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. That'll probably get you within a short range. So. Okay. All right. Uh, so it is now the stormtrooper's turn. Again. The two with you, they're still just trying to swing, uh, shoot away at you. Mm -hmm. uh, but they fail. They fail. Uh, and, and with a, a net of nothing, of zero. Total wash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no advantage, no Excellent. disadvantage. They're just like... Dodging, you know, firing randomly. Mm -hmm. um, and then same Excellent. at you, Colin. A yellow, three greens, and a purple. Firing at the one closest to me again. Okay. Uh, I would like to aim first. Okay, so you're going to take your maneuver to aim. Nice, that gives you a blue dice. Fire. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes, so if you look at your sheets... It should tell mm -hmm. you what you can do with a maneuver. Well, I've got five failures and two successes. Five failures and two successes? Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, wait, did you wow. do one purple or two? I did one purple. Okay. I don't think you can get five failures. Oh, uh, one of these. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, okay, so I rolled double star on one of the greens. Okay. One triangle, and then a triangle and a star. Those are all the greens. And then the blue. Hold on, hold on. The greens. Where are you rolling? Are you rolling it on the app or on the uh, website? App. Okay. Let me make sure I'm telling you the right symbol here, because maybe you should have been doing better than that. And that's, that's why I'm confused, because with the chart that heals sent, it doesn't make anything yet make any more sense. <laughs> what is it? Oh, okay, okay. So you have that kind of delta-looking triangle on yeah. the positive dice. Forgive me. Because on the Star Wars version, the triangle is a threat, or mm -hmm. is a failure. And these are the threats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then on the others, on the Genesis dice... Um, Basically, you, you, you can only have positive results mm -hmm. on positive dice. 
Gotcha. So what that is is the 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 triangles or the deltas on the green dice mm -hmm. are advantages. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's much better. Yes. Yes. I've been I've been succeeding from the start. Okay. <laughs> so the little explosion <laughs> is a success. That's okay. No good work. Learning. You guys are learning a completely new system. And it's okay. Yeah, it's so, an app that doesn't match the system. <laughs> well, it kind of does, it's, but it's I close. I wasn't looking at it, and I didn't I forgot what the symbol was on it, so it's okay. my mistake. Then I have five advantages and two successes. Okay, that's a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> um, I was like, I'm about to die. No. <laughs> yes. So I'm pretty sure with five advantages, that's at least one critical hit. Excellent. Uh, what does it say on critical hits? Uh, on your weapon. It just says inflict a critical injury uh, inflict a critical injury on a hit for three advantages. Um, okay. juggling a lot of paper that I don't know yeah. how to juggle today. Now on the on the um the, the one link I'd sent the RPG dice roller, there's mm -hmm. actually a, a Star Wars RPG dice roller it, and then there's Genesis too, so I guess it there recognizes is, them there as is. different. But however, um some for some people it shows up as uh five dollars for the Star Wars one. Oh no I I, the, I found one online that I just have opened in a browser oh, tab. Yeah, you're using the browser that's yeah yeah so. that's what I'm using too. Okay, cool. Because it tells me the end result, and I don't have to do a lot of math. Oh. <laughs> or try to explain the little symbols. So Colin all of a sudden pulls up another browser. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, I've just been saying the dash rolled. Yeah. Uh, Hales, will you send me a link to that site? It's in the, it's in the Discord. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so that Stormtrooper, uh, how much damage again. did you do with that shot, by the way? Uh, I ate critical hit which i'm assuming is double well no it's it's different so basically they get a an injury okay so but you still do extra damage for those so things so. 11 damage and okay. then a critical hit so you and then two more advantage so you basically you pop out tell me tell me how you pop out and, and fire this sword uh i think he's probably distracted by sasha so i pop out after having taken aim Take a second to aim, and then I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna sh try to shoot through him and then through the sight on his weapon into the ground. Okay. Um, wait, into the what? Don't oh, hit me. Through the sight on his weapon into what? Yeah, like through through them and then through his sight through the gun on the other side. Just okay, like, okay. Just, through the gun. Just through and through. Yeah. So absolutely, you you nail it right through that. It goes through. And you're able to, and he just kind of like you see him kind of fall backwards and you know clatters the white plastic clatter armor to the ground. Um, both of yours uh, have been taken care of and eliminated. Okay. All right, so it is back to Taras's turn, who is down here swinging wildly <laughs> with what kind I of lightsaber? I am, and uh, uh, it's a green. Okay, with a green, green lightsaber. lightsaber. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, I just continue, just continue swinging wildly, and I'm gonna take another swing. Do it. All right, two successes and one threat is the end result. Perfect. All right, what's the damage? All right, damage will be eight again. Okay. Oh no, wait, hold on. Uh, it's a critical injury, or no? Je just kidding. It's a breach. I, I... Breach means it ignores yeah, the... soak value. Yeah. So basically, it ignores armor. So, like I said, mm -hmm. that that soak uh, is always subtracted from damage every turn. Mm -hmm. Breach means it basically ignores that. Yep. So, okay. your lightsaber, being the ancient weapon of a Jedi, cleaves cleanly through, um, and this uh, stormtrooper crumples to the ground. So you have eliminated okay. your stormtrooper. One. Okay. 
uh, do you take a maneuver of any kind? And remember, look at your maneuver list because you mm-hmm. could take a defensive or offensive action. Or not action, a maneuver with that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I guess at this point I will I'll en- engage the other one. If I wasn't already like in, engaged with him, I'll engage. Yeah, I would say um, you were. And I hope he says yes. Side, yeah. Okay. Okay, excellent. Okay. Uh, it is now Sasha's turn. Well, I guess I'm going to turn around and help help him take out the other one. Take him out. So I need to maneuver first. Sure. Take some. Take aim, maybe? I, guess I'm gonna, I mean, I guess I'm going to turn around because I was, <laughs> I was shooting the other way. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'd turn around and take aim. Uh-huh. So you can take a maneuver to take aim, uh, or you can move forward if you like. Taking aim will give you a extra blue dice. Okay, I'll go ahead and take aim. Okay. Instead of moving so forward. Roll your heavy blaster rifle with two purple and one blue. I still do my two green and yellow. Yes. yes. Green to yellow. You say two purple or one? Two, because you're about medium range. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Dice rolled says one success, three advantages, one triumph, one failure, and one threat. Okay. So you get, so what, that nets you two successes and a triumph? Yep. And it says one success, two advantages, and one triumph is my end result. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so yes, absolutely. Um, how much damage does that do? It should be whatever the base damage of your weapon plus how much adds per success. Um, base damage is seven plus one. Okay. Um, so seven plus one. Uh, you and then you also have the the critical, uh, which on these guys. Uh, basically, because these are stormtroopers and they are simplified NPCs, they don't have strain, per se, which means it basically just carries over and you turn and fire at the last remaining one and <laughs> clatters to the ground. So, uh, Taras, you see the, you s- t- swing and you take one down and all of a sudden this blaster bolt <laughs> comes over your shoulder and just like knocks the other one head. his feet. <laughs> so perfect perfect all right at that with that uh action has ceased for the moment combat is over and you all are in an empty garage bay you have successfully eliminated the troops sent to investigate the cut communications line mm. so well Um, okay. Right. We should move quickly. They will send more as soon as those units don't return. Agreed. I also All agree, right. but where are we moving to? <laughs> so I thought you had the plans. I know that there's a no- there's a hangar to the north. That's where that's where they can escape the best too. But I don't know how to get there. <laughs> but you were the seeker. All right. I did. I sought the exits and I found one. <laughs> Aside from the one that we came through. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Listen, I'm not the Leia of legend who had the secret map to the Death Star, okay? They've already taken care of that. I had that. Clearly. Nothing. Clearly. Clearly. Uh, <laughs> Jim, we may need reminded of what our end goal here is. Yes. <laughs> uh, so your end goal, okay, is to... Um, let's see. Uh, cut the comm line, which you've already done. Uh, disable the lone shuttle. And then, um, overcome the Imperials in the base without letting the commander escape. So, you've already Mm -hmm. defeated a fair number of guards. Uh, where do you want to try to go from here? 
So here's the downside mm-hmm. to knowing where things are, not knowing where things are, is if we leave the garage and the commander comes this way, there's all of these vehicles that he can take. So we might just need to blow some of these up. Now, the other one is that the shuttle is to the far north, but I'm not sure how to get there. So we need to get to the shuttle and either take it or destroy it while it, where it stands so that they can't take that either. Well, your, your objective is to secure the base. Yes, yeah, so don't blow it up. Perhaps we should not destroy it. <laughs> Uh, Let's it's... not blow things up. You can just blow up the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the explosive well, you power of an ATSD? to use the garage later, don't you believe? <sighs> all right. So with all of um, so with all of the the stormtroopers dispatched or captured, uh, the last remaining um, stormtrooper lunges for a console with a button marked alarm as your final shot, Sasha, brings him down. Um, He struggles to pull himself up for an instant, then collapses just short of the console. You've taken the garage without alerting the rest of the post and now have a foot in the door of Whisper Base. You secure the code cylinder off of one of the stormtroopers, um, the squad leader, and use it to open the base door. The slab of gray metal swings goes shoo, up into the ceiling as does as do all imperial doors of course. Um, before you uh, as you open it before you stands a droid carrying a mop and a bucket peering at you quizzically through its lenses greetings unfamiliar organic individual this unit has been ordered to see to the cleaning of the garage bay please pass through the door or step aside so that this unit can proceed with its onerous task. What do you do? On your way. Wait. Yes. Freud, tell us the location of the hangar and how to get there from here. We're new to this area. I don't think it will tell us that if it's duty is to go Freud, clean. New objective. Tell us the way. <laughs> tell us the way to the to this to the ship that we know is to the north. We're new here. Uh, the droid continues to look down at you. Uh, cocking its head to the side. This unit needs to complete the sanitation of this garage bay and then file its weekly report on the contents of the chamber. Please move aside, unfamiliar organic individual, so that this unit can finish its mandated task. I, uh, I pick up one of the stormtrooper helmets and I put it on my head and I go, system override. Well, so <laughs> despite its combat-oriented design, this droid does not seem terribly threatening. Uh, nor is it making any immediate move towards the alarm. Uh, it has a dark silver chassis, chassis pockmarked by rust, and a restraining bolt is fastened to its chest. Still, the droid could easily alert the base to your current position, spoiling any surprise you might have gained in the wake of the firefight. You'll need to convince it not to give your status away one way or the other. Right, like I said, droid! <laughs> System override. Tell us the location <laughs> of the ship. He um, he says, well, the shuttle is in the shuttle bay on the north side of the facility. But right, is that so like a straight side. right, straight left, right, straight? Clearly, you already know where it's at. He says, all like passages right? are clearly marked. Oh, and then he excellent. repeats... Repeats himself, please stand aside so that I can uh, clean this uh, garage and report its contents. Uh, do, do, I, I, over... do I see a way to power it down? Uh, make a... Hmm. Yeah, I was going to say let it go ahead and go clean and then we'll shoot it in the back, but okay. Make a knowledge was... check or a mechanics check. Okay. I, um, I have a decent intelligence. And, and Colin, why don't you roll like a negotiations check? Okay. Uh, what's my disadvantage? Uh, your or... your difficulty, uh, which is what the purple mm-hmm. one are, difficult guys. Uh, mm-hmm. Your difficulty would be uh, if it's, um, I would say probably easy. You're just inspecting it visually right now. Okay. Um, Colin, yours is average. So oh, wow. So just one. Um, two, purple. Th- two, oh, boy. Three successes and three advantages. 
Okay, so in looking at this droid, you realize that if you Got remove its bit. restraining bolts, you might have an easier time of convincing it to do what you want. Okay. And so uh, as as Colin's talking to it, I just reach over and uh, kids is something I can just remove easily. Um, roll a mechanics check. Um, probably, let's see, hold on. So as you're looking at it, he says, I see you've noticed my restraining bolt. Uh, if you are trying to remove it, um, I can assist you with that. <laughs> then yes, he, please. I noticed there's a bit of to uh, explain gunk it built he, up there. He can't remove it. Uh, so basically, roll mm -hmm. mechanics. Um, it's going to be uh, you'll get a boost die, the blue boost die, with your mechanics okay. check. Oh, uh, it needs a, to be cleaned. Purple, one purple. One, okay. Uh, that would end with one advantage. Okay. Uh, and he says, hmm, I don't believe you were successful. Uh. Hmm. Well, hmm. I did notice there's some, uh, some rust starting to build up. I'm afraid that'll cause you to malfunction. Uh, if uh, we could just have another chance at removing that, I believe we could get that problem taken care of for you. Okay. I can try. Um, yeah, you guys can try, and I will give you... It will be a little harder, being the second time, but I will give you, if you're both working at it, I'll give you uh, an extra blue dice. So, two blue, two green, and two purple. In the meantime, I rolled three successes and three threats. Were you trying to help remove it? Uh, no, this is from my negotiation roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you say to... I figured I was making it from the everything that I was saying before. Okay. Uh, well, I'll, why don't you guys roll your uh, restraining bolt removal? Okay, I've got two successes, four advantages, one failure, two threats. Okay. End results, one success, two advantages. Perfect. So you guys were successful in removing it. As you do, you hear the little choof, as it kind of like disengages and you the the droid kind of stands a little taller he says i am bx2 2 r you can call me tour tour yes are you Thank still you for removing my restraining bolt welcome excellent um are you still under the control of your current masters uh, this, this restraining bolt has removed the, um, command overrides that, uh, the Imperial officers have over me. Oh. Will you accompany us? Um, I can, uh, assist in pointing out where you might need to go, um, but I am not very fast. Well, Do you have uh, combat <laughs> abilities? I can hit things. He, but you how can hard? see he doesn't have uh, any weapons other than like the mop. Um, when you when you see him, you do see this. Actually, I really want you to hit things with the mop. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the droid. Mop in the bucket. <laughs> so you can see. Okay. Where is it? Uh, he's standing in the doorway. Oh, huh? I like him. <laughs> of course you do. Oh, you want him to go with us? Of course I do. So he he does appear to be a old battle droid. Um, I, I pull up my blaster and I say, uh, "Would you know how to use something like this?" 
my programming does have the required instruction set. Excellent. Um, and I, I, I hand him my blaster. And I say, your new order is to protect this group. <laughs> he needs to go clean up our mess. He says, um, if, and that. If, Keep as them you, up too. Sasha, as you say that, he says, this unit indeed does not wish to clean up the garage, especially when it is so cluttered with organic debris. Uh, however, this unit um, will accompany you, though this unit is not practiced in firing. That's all right. Neither <laughs> am I. Let's go. <laughs> Very well. So right. you uh, head down the hallway, and he begins to shuffle after you. Okay. He kind of got an extra one of carrying the, the <laughs> pistol. If you got an extra blaster, are you just gonna go around punching things at long range? No, I goody. I, I pull out my lightsaber, and but I don't ignite it. I'm saying no. I, I'm surprisingly good at with this. Are you I sure? Just, so you're gonna swing that at long range. Earlier. So he has the mop <laughs> in one hand and he has How the dare pistol you? in the other and he's kind yes. of you know exactly how it, I wanted like it. Not not exactly, you know, threatening in any way. Might as well give the droid the lightsaber and you the mop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do believe I will hold on to my lightsaber. If if we disguise but I do wish to see droid. him hit something. <laughs> I do wish to see him hit something with the mop. Okay. So, um, me too. <laughs> are there are there any officers officers quarters or extra uh, alarms that we may that we may need to be aware of going through here? Um, let's see. Oh wow! Why didn't I just grab one of the blasters off the stormtroopers' bodies and give it to him? We'll say you did that. Yeah, that's a better idea. I did that because <laughs> I am smart. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, what was your question again for it, Colin? Was my what? What was your action or what was your question again? Off like quarters. I'm sorry, I had extra audio coming through. I need you to say it again. I'm so sorry. What What were you trying to ask, Tor? Uh, just uh, like if there was any officers' quarters that we needed to be aware of, or uh, extra alarms that could be sounded. Um, because we are looking for the commander. I assume sure. to make sure they don't ex escape. Well, your your next objective was to disable the shuttle. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Remember. Yes. I get, yeah. I guess we don't in explicitly want to kill the commander. Uh, um, we're supposed to secure so it. You 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 start moving along the hallway, uh, and t uh, Tor is kind of going with you in the group. Uh, are you letting him lead you, or are you leading the way? If he's if he's leading us to the yeah. uh, to the shuttle, then yeah, yeah, well, then he right. can lead. You. I, I would be letting him lead. Yeah, I'd let him lead. Okay, so uh, to reach the launch pad, you quietly pick your way through the halls, passing the officers' quarters and communications room before spotting the hatch that leads to your next destination. Uh, the listening post is oddly, almost ominously silent. Only your footsteps echo softly through the hallways as you round the corner in front of the hatch. You spot several guards in Imperial uniforms standing in front of it. Perhaps the occupants of the base have been alerted to your presence, or maybe Lieutenant Serez, the base Serev, the base commander, is merely a stickler for security. Either way, you'll need to get past the guards to reach the launch pad where you can disable a shuttle to prevent Serev's escape. Well So so maybe we go back and we don the stormtrooper armor. And then we come back again. Or do y'all just want to start I mean, shooting things? I mean, I like I shooting just, uh, things, but if we can get out of this quietly, I guess. Or if I can even fit into the stormtrooper outfit. Okay. This plan you have. 
It's wise. Okay. But do you want to go try, yes. start armor? start shooting yes. things or putting on let's, extra armor? Um, let's let's go put on the extra armor. Okay. Uh, and and see if we can. So do all three of you go uh, don the armor? Yeah, I mm. just want it noted that white is not my color. <laughs> okay. Noted. <laughs> all right. So you all go back to the hangar. You start to try to piece on the stormtrooper armor. It takes you a little bit. Um, but as this is kind of a, uh, secret base in the middle of a jungle on a, you know, kind of quiet moon, you're able to do it without anyone walking in or anything. Uh, so you, you begin to walk down the hall towards the, uh, the others. Um, what do you do as you approach these guards? Uh, 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 droid. Have you ever have you ever uh, heard anything from prisoners before? Or prisoners being, no, wait, not prisoners. Um, uh, commander, you know, commands. Have you ever heard anything from commander commands that would be like, hey, let us on this ship by order of the commander, section code, you know, whatever. That that sounded really good, actually. <laughs> Maybe replace the section code from whatever to like fourteen. I don't know if that's the right section code. If the droid knows the right section code, well, I'm going to say the right section code. No, that's um, so you're saying yes. almost before you approach the stormtroopers. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm clearly just shaking my head. So uh, Tor looks at you and and says, uh, "This unit's uh, personal records don't date back far enough to include any kind of um, secret catchphrases or." security clearances it is purely restricted to the um it, its activities have been restricted to the limits of the restraining bolt previously well that's all i got what do you got what's y'all's idea yeah i um let's roll with your idea just don't well, say don't... section code just I say that uh we the commander has ordered that we be placed on this ship. So uh, we, we know the so commander. Again, you know name, that right? you know that you're basically supposed to get into the shuttle. Mm -hmm. So how do you convince? How do you? How would you convince the guards to try to get past them into the shuttle? Here's what we do. Um, right, we walk up with the cleaning it. droid. Droid, put the gun away. We say, we're here with the. We're here to just escort the droid to the shuttle for a deep clean, right? But we want him to be watched just so that no extra buttons happen because last week, you know, that crazy thing that happened, you know, where he accidentally pushed that button uh, and then we get on and we disable okay. it and then we blame the droid, like sorry. It. All right. So for having accidentally pushed a wrong button again. So that's a- uh... This is a great plan. I see nothing that could go wrong. Yeah. Uh, Sasha, you may be muted. Sounds like a great plan. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you approach the stormtroopers and uh, they say, Halt, what are you doing here? And you explain that, right? Yep. Uh, yep. Okay, uh, roll, make a deception or coercion check. All right, which of these is going to be better? It's going to be against three purple. However, that's a pretty good story, so I'm going to give you a blue okay okay and right. uh what what's your skill modifier since the group is doing it i will even let you upgrade so so what what is who has basically who who has the best coercion or deception my my deception um, is three green uh I, I do have proficiency in deception what is your uh dice pool for it? so it's one yellow two green okay and then Sasha, what's yours? Oops. Hang on. I'm scrolling too fast, apparently. Mine's three green. Okay. So uh, because you all have three uh, and you have one extra, so basically I'm going to let you have two yellow and one green and one blue versus uh, three purple. So who wants to roll that? Our storyteller. 
You said two yellow, one green, and one blue? Yes. And then three purple. Correct. All right. One second, roll out to it. Oh boy. Three successes and one threat. Okay. So uh, you successfully convince the stormtroopers on guard that uh, they should let you in here. Um, but they they are keeping a little bit of a watchful eye because you're right. They heard that that droid, man, he made a mess last time with things. Um, and so you, right. all, uh, you all are able to approach the shuttle on on the landing field. And uh, you're able to, to get there. And let's see. You step out onto the launch pad, a large platform cut into the mountainside. Uh, inside the chamber sits a slightly battered Lambda-class shuttle, surrounded by heavy crates filled with spare parts and maintenance tools. The vessel is currently offline, uh, and there are no other guards on the launch pad. To capture this base as a foothold for the Rebel Alliance, you must prevent its command staff from escaping. And this is the place they are most likely to run first. After all, the alternative is a long walk through a deadly jungle. How do you tackle this problem? I think we should tell him to go and start cleaning. And if he goes around to the other side of the shuttle, we might be able to get out of there. Look. Mm -hmm. Assume at this point you have access to the shuttle. Okay. Like okay. the ramp's down, it's in, you know, parked mode. Uh, he's in his home base. He didn't lock his doors. It's in the garage, you know. Gotcha. The good old Perndle is set keys. to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you, have a co you have a code cylinder, you know. Yep. Do, you think, uh, do you think we could set the code cil cylinder to self-destruct on the ship? Or uh, we weren't just, gonna blow it up. <laughs> well, we're trying is to. We're not trying to blow up the. Okay, listen. My specialty may or may not be blowing things up. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> How about what if we set it to autopilot to the nearest system and tell it to just go, and then we get we get off and leave so that we're like, ah, he said he hit the autopilot. The droid's gone, and then there's no more ship. There's no more escape. So I mean, if it works, it gets it out of here. What? Are they, what? I, I, listen, I'm just coming up with ideas. These aren't, these aren't great ideas. <laughs> if anyone else has anything, tell me, please. Roll like a it. roll an intelligence check. This anybody. is where things go downhill. Anybody or everybody? Okay, I can I, I can roll it. My guess must be fairly intelligent. It's going to be with a, um, we'll say average difficulty because you're trying to find a way to prevent anyone from escaping in the shuttle it says two intellect under characteristics i wouldn't know how to roll that yeah. so how would i roll that uh okay so sorry so three. on your skills look at knowledge N yes i would right. say knowledge okay. or Um, you could do like streetwise or survival, kind of like something like that. Or if you have an idea, you can always propose something. My, my survival. Terrast is pretty intelligent. Heels doesn't know anything about how a ship works. Okay. What does Terrast <laughs> say? Neither do I. Uh, what does he get for no his idea. knowledge? <laughs> oh, uh, wh what's the uh, penalty dice difficulty? Uh, average. A two. Yes. My my survival is one yellow and two green. Uh, That's the best I've got. Okay, do survival then. Okay. Okay. One. I got That's one on success mine. and one threat. Is the the end result? Okay. Basically, uh, in looking through things, you f you find a few options as far as like things you could potentially do um, mm -hmm. with the help of, of the droid who uh, you see tour walking around looking at things. Sometimes he like throws something like intentionally making a mess 
and then kind of like chuckling because he's like, I don't have to clean that. You hear him mutter under his breath, I don't have to <laughs> clean that. <coughs> he's he's rebelling uh, si- uh, quietly. A little civil disobedience there. He said, this unit excellent. Uh, suggests um, alternatives. You could slice the shuttle's computer and disable it or disconnect the engines or barricade the door and, and leave through an alternate route. Hmm. Well, I am a man of simplicity. I suppose just slashing the computer would kind of do the trick. We're going to keep this and ruse up. And I do up. have a bright, shiny blade. If we're we're going to keep this ruse up and someone else comes in and goes, hey, what's going on? And they see a giant burning gash in the computers. How is the how are we gonna how are we gonna blame that on the droid? Sorry. How about we just do use this? He used his laser vision. Or do you have laser vision? This unit is not equipped <laughs> with laser vision. See, he doesn't he's, he hasn't been upgraded that far. He had a, do you have he had lasers a of he had any a bucket kind? and a mop, and you think he has laser vision? <laughs> this unit does point out. That no one is here at the moment. And it doesn't, uh, per your stated objectives, you require no explanation, just prevention. This unit makes a good point. <laughs> good enough. I, I ignite the saber. Take a good swipe at the computer. Okay, so you want to literally slice the computer, not slices and hack the computer you're gonna miss this no, no, no. I, 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 <laughs> I want to take my saber and just do some damage to the okay. to the, the, so, the compartment of whatever looks important is, i'm slashing so this is kind of a you're gonna try and slash this is kind of a homebrew <laughs> rule here okay so okay. we we it's it's think about it as star wars door logic right so mm-hmm. in the movies a character wants to keep a door from opening they blast it or they ignite a lightsaber in the control panel or they want it to stay open they blast it (laughs) now (laughs) the the end result is that whatever you do whether you are choosing to try to leave it open or try to leave it shut Mm -hmm. uh, until it is repaired with like a mechanics check it will stay in that position so like if you opened a door and you fired the control panel to keep it open, it would stay open until it was repaired. Or if you mm. shut a door and you shot the control panel to try to keep it shut from stormtroopers chasing you, it would stay shut until it was repaired. So. Something for your information. So you oh, ignite okay. the light trust this. The can I go panel. barricade the door? Uh, you can, yeah. I mean, like, he... Igniting a lightsaber in the control panel will clearly... Uh, disable it in, in mm-hmm. that it, you will not be able to uh, <laughs> take off from the shuttle. That, that's my that's my goal. All right. <laughs> um, I don't think you need to roll anything for that. So excellent. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, at this point, I'm just like, this looks important. I ignite it and just run the saber across the entire like control panel. Is this okay. your dream right now to just destroy a computer? It room is. It is just destroy the entire <laughs> ship. You ever you ever seen at the county fair <laughs> where they have people just hit a car with a sledgehammer? This is my equivalent <laughs> to that. Yes. He doesn't even have to like swing it around. He just like puts it to it, ignites it, turns it off, <laughs> yep. and there's just a burning hole into the control panel of this. And you clearly. No, I don't believe this ship's going anywhere. You clearly hear that sparking. Droid, what did you do? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he walks over and he still has the mop and the and the gun that you handed to him. Um, and he kind of looks a gun down in the mop bucket. Kind of sticks <laughs> the, kind of looks at the mop, and uh, he just like k-dunk, sticks it into the hole that you made with the lightsaber, and just leaves it there. Excellent. That was a very powerful mop you have. All right. <laughs> All right. And uh, did, did that barricade the door open or closed? 
it, well, if she if she completed in barricading it, then um, then it is shut at the moment. Gotcha. So I pull out my lightsaber. Do you want a hole in the top or the bottom? That's actually a good. That's actually a good question. I think if we do it, <laughs> I was worried about going back through the door that was barricaded. I was completely content with just kind of sitting here, getting on comms and telling Star Command, like, "Hey, come in, Star Command. We're stuck on the ship that we were told to, uh, you know, stop." <laughs> but no one else is going anywhere either. Um, I think that at is, this point, that is a, a hole, plan. A hole in the bottom could make a loud like clank. And then if someone runs over to it, they can easily see up into it. Whereas if we put the hole in the top, there'll be a loud clank, nice. but then we can get out through the top and yes. it'll be harder for everyone else to get to. Yes. And then we have a uh, height advantage, which you know what they say about that. I have the high no, ground. Um, anyway, yes. I'm short. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah. So, uh, so you are now barricaded in here. Uh, however, you did have one other objective, <laughs> and that was to um, finish taking over the base. Um, which, at this point, you would know probably means uh, getting to some sort of command center. So yeah, based on our conversation, um, I ignite the saber again, shove it through the roof, and kind of try to cut out a circle big enough. Um, and as I'm closing the gap, the I'm like, uh, "Is it, it? Where are you at right now?" I was thinking we were in in we're barricaded inside the shuttle, right? So I was making a, an escape route for us. No, she was barricading the door to the shuttle bay, the like the launch pad itself. Oh, I thought we were stuck oh, in the shuttle. Okay. okay. Yeah. See, I thought we were stuck in the shuttle. That's why I was cutting a big hole in it. No. 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 <laughs> So Can we'll I say that, that anyway? was, you realize that you are not stuck Probably in not the necessary. shuttle. Okay. All right. Understood. Yeah, then I walk out normal and I don't get to cut a hole in anything. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. No problem. All right. So, yes, you, uh, Sasha has blocked the door. She's uh, single handedly moved uh, <clears throat> some large crates over in front of it. Um, and and the access is blocked. Uh, how do you get back in to secure the rest of the base? Uh, hey, Droid, hey. what's uh, can you can you just list the names of rooms <laughs> that you've had to clean before? Because I know that's somewhere in your access database. It'd be super helpful for us to figure out where we're supposed to go next. Uh, there is the briefing room. There is the recreation room. There's the locker room. There's the firing range, training facility, barracks, armory, officer's quarters, the garage, communication room, the trash compactor, the mess hall, the kitchen, and the control room. Mm. Control room sounds like where we need to be headed. Sounds, sounds pretty important. To me, like maybe if we take control of the, the control room, we will mm. definitely be in control. Isn't that what's up in yeah, that I corner? Agree. It's actually of pretty close here? to where we came in. Is it? Left down that long hallway. Ah, that's very insightful knowledge you have. I, we, you know, he said read the signs, and I happened to read one of the signs on the way out. Ah, he said control excellent. room. Okay. It's actually in really big letters, and I should have thought it beforehand. I didn't. So proud of you. Okay. Thanks. Well, excellent. Um, we've barricaded <laughs> ourselves into here now, correct, though? Yes. Um, for, for now, maybe. Uh, okay. So maybe we uh, un unbarricade ourselves to well, go in, to the control. And in, in, up in this corner over here, when we were. I, I can't see what it said. I could have swore I seen no, oh. this one up in the, like I'm looking at the screen at the, the top mm -hmm. right. When we were on the other screen, I oh, okay. seemed like a little hole in the floor. There we are, the space Oh, the control. access. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. Oh. There's a little hole up there. Where does that lead to there, droid? Do you know? 
Uh, the ventilation shaft leads hmm. to further inside the base. Jeez. Have you ever cleaned there before? Uh, this unit has not. Darn. That's lucky for you, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I consider myself fortunate. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Well, that might end today. Um, I'm wondering if do you, would I do you be want able to, to cr crawl in there and uh, look around myself? Uh, you do notice that it's big enough that the three of, three of you could crawl through it. Oh, okay. Or four? Yeah. Could could we send the robot to? Um, you get the sense it might be hard for him to crawl on his hands and knees. Okay. Through the ventilation shaft. So. Okay, so we'll it, just kick him. Just, no, I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> wow. He was he was so helpful. He got us in here. Um, just question, trying to help him get out. Is there is there a reason we must leave it barricaded since the the ship is now uh, inaccessible and um, it, it can't be used? Um, I mean, what would be the purpose not, of leaving it barricaded? But I just figured if to be, to be fair, is it, there, there are troopers us, on the outside. Yeah. Exactly. So they might think that we're the ones that did this. If, well, hear me out. We open the door, we walk out, and we say, "Yeah, clean this whistle," and and just keep trudging along. Pretend nothing is wrong. Okay. Exactly, and and you know, but we probably decent ways away before they go to check it out. Okay, well, I'm running if they come after us and shooting <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> All right, running. So and you uh, are you going to try to clear the way and go ahead and leave through the yep. regular door? We'll go okay. ahead and see how stealthy mm -hmm. we can be. So. All right, so yeah. you you walk out. The troopers are still on guard. They are not really reacting anything anything to yeah. you as you leave uh, <clears throat> nonchalantly, <laughs> mm -hmm. as nonchalantly as you can Good wearing day. stormtrooper armor. All right, <clears throat> so um, as you pass them. You begin to walk through the halls. Uh, you see uh, a couple, you see some other uh, Imperials, not stormtroopers. Um, in fact, the ones by the door weren't stormtroopers. They were the, um, they were more of the, um, what are they called? Mm -hmm. Like the the sentries that have the like black helmets that swoop down. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. If you can see, yeah. You can see their faces. Yeah, you can see their faces. So, mm -hmm. okay. um, it appears there's a very uh, s small division of troopers here. It's mostly just those kind of sentries. Okay. Then they ain't um, gonna have a clue. So you walk by them uh, nonchalantly, yeah. and you get. Uh, probably halfway to the control room when all of a sudden an alarm starts to blare and the lights begin to kind of dim and they kind of have that red hue to it and you hear that kind of <laughs> kind of alarm clacks on going off and uh, as you all act, li have, act like nothing's wrong as you all have um, this stormtrooper armor on with the comms in your ears, mm -hmm. you hear uh, something y you hear over the comms. There's been an infiltration in the garage. Uh, some of the troopers have been eliminated. Quickly, get get uh, Commander Sayer to the shuttle. And uh, you start mm. to hear well, people running. He's going to be sadly disappointed. <laughs> Uh, what do you do? Do you run somewhere? Do you hide? I'm running to the control room. Yeah, I'll say, well, let's pick up our pace to the control room. Like we're running yep. in a panic, but like okay. we're gonna get probably to against the greater one. Purpose. Yes. All right, so then roll a deception check. And it's just going to be average. All because, but It's going to be average, so with two. But it is going to be um, with the blue because of your um, disguise. Um, and I believe it was, what did you have, two yellow and a green from earlier? As kind uh, of a group three green. Role. Oh, okay, the group one. 
Because yours, yeah, I think uh, it was two yellow and a green. Two yellow and a green, uh, two yellow, a green, and a blue against just two. Because right now, it's not an opposed okay. check to any particular group. It's just in general. Okay. I get, oh well. Um, I rolled uh, five successes, one triumph, and one threat. Okay. So in the chaos, that is the result. alarm blaring, and this makes sense. You know, you're able to run through the base uh, wearing the stormtrooper armor. <coughs> Uh, no one really pays any attention to the fact that you have a little, few little pieces of odd gear, you know, like uh, the two of you having slightly different blaster rifles, and uh, no one seems to notice or realize what a lightsaber is hanging on the belt of one stormtrooper um, <laughs> as you head towards <laughs> the control room. Um, this is normal. You do see <laughs> as you're traveling to the control room down a hall, passing the other direction towards the launch bay is uh, the officer in charge, um, Commander uh, Sarev. Mm. Um, do you continue to the control room? Uh, hey, Star Command. Yes. Star Command, are we supposed to kill this guy or just like not make sure he can't leave? I make, I'm trying to make sure that the comms for the stormtroopers are off, but then mine... Sure, I already sure. have. Uh, so you mm -hmm. get you get a report back, or you, you know, consult your, because uh, you're you know you're out of communication range at this point. Um, but you you do know that it's uh, to secure the base and prevent him from basically escaping and alerting other Imperials like off world or at other bases kind of thing. Mostly off world. So, um, so at this point you know necessarily not. You could take him out. You yeah. could capture him. Mm -hmm. You could try to capture we, him we have, in any number of we ways. We cut communication, so he can't contact anyone off-world now, right? That's what we did in the garage. Correct. So I think knowing this, we still continue to, to control. control room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. So you keep heading towards the control room. <clears throat> okay. And uh, And what else? What do you do? Like you, you've made it to the control room, um, it's there's actually no guards there because the commander has been moved, mm -hmm. um, but uh, easily enough your code cylinder lets you in because mm -hmm. you do have a stolen code cylinder at this point. Okay. I start and looking around and seeing what we can figure mm -hmm. out. Yes, we. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there is there anyone inside of the control room, or is it uh, you see a couple of techs? Okay, a couple of uh, like techs are in there. Uh, they look like they're trying to frantically figure out why the communications aren't working. Um, they don't know, so I'm going acting like we're there to help them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the way to the control center is clear. As you approach the solid blast doors, um, you do hear. Uh, or, or, or as you walk inside, one of the people goes, uh, what's going on out there? Crazy. So, I, I, some, some of the other troopers have been killed. We, we don't know what's going on. We came, yes. we came to make sure that y'all were safe in the drill room because this is where everything happens. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, and clearly we see you need there, help. There's been, yes, there's been an attack in the garage and we, uh, we were sent here to see what's going on with communications. What, what's the issues? Um, okay, so roll a um, roll a deception check again. It's going to be one red and one purple. Who's that? All of us? Uh, no, just just one of you. But like, you can roll the same the same one you've been able to roll as again your. Your deception has not changed, so. Okay. Do we get the still get the blue? Yes. Okay. That's uh oh one success and one advantage. It's the end result. All right. Um. <laughs> so they, you know, successfully take the the lie that you have told them. Um. What did you What did you tell them to? Like, did you tell them to do something? Uh, not yet, but I can't. Uh, no, no, no. At this point, we 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 just asked what what's going on with communications. Where where's the problem? 
Now I'm wishing we would have told them to do something. Okay. So um, you see these startled, uh, star, you know, these startled operators are here. Um, you you see as they, um, as you finish sweeping the room, um, they, um, Um, sorry, sorry, I think I said that. Mm-hmm. So you, when you got to the control room, it was actually locked. So you convinced them to open it with that, my mistake. Um, okay. But you sweep into the control room, and everyone is startled that you were there with guns drawn. Um, you cautiously, uh, when they see your weapons, they raise their hands in surrender. Um, so like I said, it's just operators. They're the, you know, they don't, have hardly anything. Um, you see a few lesser officers, but you don't see the commander. Uh, you cautiously pick your way through the room, taking sidearms and lock, looking for the commanders um, on the d- various screens and stuff in there. Um, as you wheel on the surrendering officers, um, <laughs> you see that <laughs> you see that uh on the screen there uh the commander uh has actually is now leaving the shuttle bay and heading towards the garage uh you hear over the comms lieutenant lieutenant Sh- Therese's shuttle has been tampered with we're heading to the garage to try to uh escape into the to the jungle Okay. Uh, from the command center, would we be able to lock down the doors of the garage? Uh, you can try. I have a uh, three greens and <clears throat> excuse me and computers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, see if you can. Uh, are are you, any of you going to try to help her with that or? Yeah. You know I'll also try do. to help. Is what mm-hmm. I think we should do. We okay. need to lock that door. We need to code this key to be the only key that can unlock any door through passage. That way, all the doors are locked. We need to lock all of the doors, and then we would be the only ones able to go anywhere. I mean, I like that so idea. If you know how to do Excellent that. idea. Great. If not, one of these guys, and I grab one by the scruff of the neck, one of these guys is going to help us do it. Uh, before we bring him into it, let us uh, try a hand at it. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Go sit down. As I don't particularly trust people um, to do things we don't know what they're doing under uh, our control, he very well could just type in a bunch of things and, and cause us some havoc. That's a good point. You stay down. You stay away from me. <laughs> um, okay, so roll a, a computer check. Uh, it will be... Computer, okay. Um, uh, Sasha will probably need to okay. roll this because mm-hmm. I think you had the higher computer roll, correct? Uh, I have three greens. Uh, I have a yellow and two greens. Okay, Better. you can do you can do a group. So um, it'd okay. be yellow and two greens, and then I'll give you a blue. Um, it is, however, going to be a red and a um, purple. You said one blue. Yes. Okay, my end result is. Two successes, two advantages, and one triumph. Okay. Nice. So <laughs> you reach over, push one of those operators out of the way, and you start typing away, entering in commands uh, as you watch on the monitors, and, and you're watching with uh, bated breath as, as the monitors, you see the commander and his uh, group of, of guards you know, going down this hallway and then going down this hallway and then turning a corner and then they're getting closer to the garage and then all of a sudden they get to the garage and you see (laughs) and like not only does she lock it down but she locks down like the halls with like the emergency, you know, like section to section Mm -hmm. fire doors, right? So it's like (laughs) she essentially um, barricades each section in of itself uh, and you all have uh, successfully taken the base uh, and prevented the lieutenant commander from escaping. 
um, and you all would be able to leave with your droid companion if you so chose. How, yeah, how I'm, keep, we, I'm keeping them with me. How do we, <laughs> how do we leave? Because I know we got here, and I don't have long distance. I don't have long distance speech in this thing. Uh, and all the doors <laughs> are locked, so no one can get anywhere. So are we just gonna hang out until somebody shows up, or like, what's the plan? So, um, let's see. Where's my conclusion? Yeah, I feel like at this um, point, uh, Taras would would go over the comms where they're like locked in the room. Sure. And, oh no. And, uh, <laughs> so here, here's and he would the just conclusion. be like, uh, with Lieutenant Sarev out of the way, Whisper Base is yours. Moff Dardano will eventually realize that his listening post is no longer active. Still, you've won a great victory today, and a chance to prepare for the coming storm. So, uh, will suffice it to say, you're able to repair equipment, get a message out. Mm -hmm. Um. Now that you're in the control room, you have run of the base, and you're able to uh, repurpose the base for the Rebel Alliance. Does this thing have Galaga on it? Dun, 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 dun. Yes, <laughs> waiting. Dun. And cue, cue the music. Sit back. Yes. Cue the music. Good job, guys. Love it. Um, what do you think? What do you think? That was a lot of fun. Okay. It, was, it was a lot of fun. All right. I, all right, I think yeah. I've got to rewatch all the Star Wars movies before we do another Star Wars one, just so I can reacquaint <laughs> myself with the and, and uh, you know with what? all the you terminology can... and stuff. No, there's, it was better this way. There's some resources. It was so much fun. You know, you guys can always look at. I can always send you some stuff to. Now that you have these character sheets too, you can actually read through yes. them uh, with more time than like 30 minutes, mm -hmm. uh, because that's all they had <laughs> as far yeah. as the time to look over these character yeah. sheets. Uh, I mean, I had less time than that, actually. She did, she did. and you did fantastic. <laughs> you did Thanks. fantastic, Mrs. Reborn. Uh, yes, all of you did, and it was kind that of an impromptu session. It was fun. It was fun. That was fun. Uh, you successfully captured a base, and uh, yeah, like I said, I, I feel like that system's a lot of fun. It's it's different than D and D. Yeah. In that it, uh, the dice basically help tell the story, yeah. and as you right. get used to it, you get like you the players it's a lot easier for you to say oh well i got you know a success and a failure and so you 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 then get to help basically narrate mm -hmm. the story of um well i did this but i you know i i, I did it in the i failed i failed spectacularly or i succeeded yes. with threat you know so um, right it's a fun nice, system I like it. and there's yeah there's so much more to it uh you know obviously there's you know, character creation and, um, mm -hmm. you know, all sorts of maps and adventures and, and you can definitely, um, start, you know, doing things like with the force, which obviously we didn't even touch on tonight, but it's not I know my, my character has like force, but it's not unlocked yet. And, and it's very minimal. So I could see the, I could see the progression happening with that. Exactly. Oh, yes. Exactly. A lot it's, of fun. it's something that, um, I actually had only played D and D probably, twice when this uh this system from fantasy flight mm -hmm. uh, launched because before this there the uh, there was actually a d20 star wars version but it was old mm -hmm. it was like really old it was like right. probably like D D three or 2.5 or something gotcha or two i don't know it was really old and before that there was a d6 system for star wars from west end games which i do actually have that as well but <laughs> from the nice. 80s. Yeah. Uh, um but yeah, so so this came out from Fantasy Flight Games cuz they got the game license from Star Wars mm -hmm. um you know uh 10 plus years ago or so. And so um yeah, so I I have but I had bought into this and had been playing this quite a bit more before uh D&D &D, uh I really took off with me. So there's, what? there's a couple nice, other okay. D six games that I've yes. uh, which is like three D six and it's all storytelling. Mm -hmm. You either get like critical failure, success, mixed success, success, critical success, I think is the scaling. And those are yeah. just those are hilarious to listen to sometimes. Yes. I have several others that are D six uh oriented. And in fact the new Is that what the system's called? So this one is called is that... the Genesis system. And um mm -hmm. You know, looking at it, it actually looks like they're still polyhedral dice. So 
what the green and the purple are all eight sided dice. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then the um the red and the yellow and the white, which is um a force die. Um they are all twelve sided dice. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, there's six sided dice for the uh right. boost or negative dice. Oh cool. So, okay. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. And um that I think I, I might have told this to you, but like that is something that I would love to do some custom versions of. So <laughs> I think that'd be cool because they don't have yeah. them like they do, you know, regular D and D dice. So Right, yeah. True. So I gotta come up with some custom symbols though, so it's not quite as easy as picking a font. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. No, I was gonna say doing just regular <laughs> polyhedra dice is pretty easy. Yeah, Pick a font, easy. throw your logo on it, you're done. Exactly. Hieroglyph exactly. font and you just yep. run with it. Uh, maybe, right. maybe. So all right. Well, thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh thank you in the chat. We had a lot of great friends join us coming over from Switch Online. We had some of our regulars join us as well. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the Star Wars one shot that we went through. Special thank you to Mrs. Reborn for joining us. Yes. Um, we and and a special thanks to Reborn for modding, kind of. For <laughs> not being here, is that what you were trying to say? <laughs> he's there. He's supposedly behind. Is he back there? No, he's. And he's okay. not asleep. <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's paying attention. Yes, he's. Asleep. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um so well with that we are oh, going to he has to make an entrance <laughs> oh I'm, I'm here by the way oh we know, we know here. <laughs> yeah we're aware and no we're we're saying. Oh, like me. <laughs> <laughs> well thanks so that's you how you get him away that's right yep <laughs> thank you all we uh look forward to next week when we hopefully should have everyone uh, back tell him he's not i just me. want it noted though yes. that <laughs> I, on my one time on here, for the one shot, got more battle mm -hmm. than Thurden has. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think so. And I I killed stuff. Probably, probably more kills, too. <laughs> you, got fair, you got a fair bit of kills. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't destroy no, a single chair, though. That's disappointing. That's true. There were no chairs harmed in the making. You did not destroy a single chair. So. Nowhere close. All right. Well, thank you so, uh, all again. I yeah. uh, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Good night and God bless. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye, God guys. bless. See you guys.